Spider-Man, the Hulk, Wonder Woman. You'll see them all and more at this year's CASA Superhero Run. And Melinda Jameson is executive director of CASA of Lexington, and she's here with more. And we want to thank you for coming in <laughs> in your great attire there. Yep, thrilled to be here. We are so excited for the CASA Superhero Run again coming up this year. This is the third year of the theme. And of course, you know CASA stands for Court Appointed Special Advocates. We use train and supervise volunteers to provide advocacy for abused and neglected children in the Fayette County Family Court System. And you see the needs continuing to grow, huh? Unfortunately, the needs do continue to grow. Last year in Fayette County alone, we had 1,262 children with substantiated cases of child abuse, child neglect. Now, we were only able to provide an advocate to 284 of those children because state law requires that you have a full-time supervisor or employee for every 30 volunteers. So we're only able to provide as many advocates to children as we can raise funds. But at the same time, the state does not fund CASA in Kentucky, right? You have gotten it right. And so Kentucky continues to be one of eight states that provide zero funding to the CASA program. We are an unduplicated service, so we hope that that will change and the state will begin to take how serious it is that our children really could use an advocate. And so you have some fun to uh, it, to deal with this very serious uh, situation, and you're going to have this big superhero run coming up. That's correct. The theme is all kids need heroes, abuse kids need superheroes. And so that's where the idea came from, and it's taken off. There's a children's 1K for 12 and under. They all receive capes and medals. And then we transition right over to a 5K. It is a walk and a run. It is competitively chip-timed. And the fun thing about this 5K, K, there are 350 superhero figurines. They are numbered. We have over $16,000 of prizes to be won. Wow. After the 5K, we have a festival complete with inflatables, games, mascots, face painting, crafts, all kinds of activities. Frojo's will be out there with frozen yogurt, chocolate milk, and the beauty of it, it's all included with race entry. And this is going to be uh, coming up on the 12th of, November, of uh, September. Yes. And uh, you're going to have it out at the Kentucky Horse Park. Yes. What a beautiful setting. Yes, it starts at 8.30 a.m. for the 1K. The 5K follows at 9 a.m. The festival will continue until noon. We invite you to come out and see the beautiful facility at the Horse Park and join us for a fantastic time. And you'd love for people to register in advance, yeah, right? We sure would because that will guarantee that you get a cape or a T-shirt, <laughs> as you see here today. Currently, registration is $30 for the 5K, $15 for the 1K. And if you go ahead and register, you'll save $5 each day of entry and Increases by five dollars. All right. Well said, as always. Thank you very much for coming in, and you certainly are an advocate for the cause. We appreciate it, Melinda. Thank you.